everybody, it's Billy from Spicy Ginger Soap. I'm going to make some bamboo and sugar cane soap tonight. And I'm going to use this slab mold that I made, but I'm not going to do the full amount. I'm just going to do like a one inch bar so then I can have, um, I don't have to cut it in half or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get my lye water in lion aloe vera and I'm actually using sodium lactate tonight to see if that helps I, I've used it once before and I didn't really notice a difference to be honest so I want to try it again because I know some people swear by it so I'm going to try it again see if it's good see if I like it Look at that. It's emulsified. Perfect. And I've got a couple different colors ready in my cups right there. I've got um, Lapis. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Lapis. It's a deep dark blue from Crafter's Choice. I love that color. I had a um, I had a sample of it, and I just and I ordered it. I ordered the two ounce container of it, and I just got it today. So um, and that that's this one right here, and then I've got my emerald green from Crafter's Choice also, and then this one I gotta look at what that's called. I think it's called like. It's Golden Green Mica from Micas and More. And it's very pretty, like bright green. So, oh, I gotta put my fragrance in. I'm gonna go ahead and stir my fragrance in. And what I'm gonna do is. Oh, this smells really good. Yeah, this is nice. I'm going to um, put this into my cups and then I'm going to put the rest in here and do some white and then I'm going to do a, try to do a mantra swirl again. I think that's, is that right? No, no, no. I always say that. The Taiwan swirl. Mantra, I don't know why I always want to call it a mantra swirl. I haven't done the mantra swirl because, well, I tried to one time and I had a problem with my batter thickening up and I had the little dividers in and, oh, it was a mess. I didn't even show you guys that one. It was so bad. I still have it on the camera because I was thinking about showing you guys. <laughs> You'll get a good laugh out of it if I do. It was terrible. I'm telling you, it was awful. Now I need mostly um, white to do this and I really hope I'm not putting too much color in these because the last time, first time I tried to do it, I really put too much color. I had too much colored batter, not enough white. Still turned out really beautiful though I will say. It was my lavender, uh, the lavender Taiwan swirl. So, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. I really like it a lot. Alright. So, got all that. And then, um, forgot to get my wet rag tonight. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put some of my titanium dioxide in here. This scent is not supposed to discolor it's not supposed to discolor it's not supposed to accelerate it's supposed to behave really well sure is pretty oh it just smells so pretty it is uh Really, really nice smelling fragrance. All right. 
I do feel like it's getting a little thick when I do that, but I, maybe I'm, maybe not, I don't know. No, yeah, it's fine. It's totally, totally fluid. Okay. Gosh, I wonder if I can get my stick blender in here. Because I'd like to... Oh, dang it. Can't do it. <laughs> Just a little bit too big. Isn't that pretty? That's that golden green. Here's my emerald green. And then my, I gotta look up if I'm saying it right or not, lapis, lap, lapis or lapis, I'm not sure. But it is beautiful. Look at how pretty that color is. It's just so, such a nice deep blue. I love it. And I'm just really stirring these good. I wanna make sure that, you know, it's completely incorporated well. Get that out of the way. I don't really have many, um, I consider this a spa type scent and I really don't have much in the way of spa scents. I have like cucumber mint and what else do I have? That's the only one that comes to my mind right this minute, but I just don't have a whole lot of spa type scents, and this is a nice spa scent. And I had seen this um, fragrance oil, oh, a while ago um, on Rustic Essentials website and thought that it sounded like something I might like to try. So um, I knew when the scent event came around that I was going to try it. All right, so what I'm going to do is, yeah, this is starting to get a little bit thicker. That's good. I wanted it to get a little bit thicker just because, um, I, you know, it's just nice when it's a certain consistency for pouring. And, you know, you don't want it real thick, but sometimes real, real thin is not the greatest either. So this is good. Kind of like a, I don't even know what type of consistency I would call this, but it's just nice, kind of like a thin trace. All right, there we go. We got everything out of there. And then basically, all you do for this type of um, for the Taiwan swirl is you just do some nice lines
think what I'll do is I'm going to do it one at a time. Yeah, I'm going to go on with this lighter color next. And if I have to, to get the effect that I want, I may, I don't think I'm going to have to, but I will forego and not use some of my batter if I have to this time. Oh gosh, that's getting, why is that one getting so much thicker? I think it's because my batter is getting real thick. All right, let's do this. Yeah, my white's getting thick, so I gotta hurry up. Oh shoot, dang it. All right, it's okay. Gosh, it just thickened up all of a sudden on me. Okay, I'm just gonna do A little bit more. Dang it, now see, that's not what I want to happen. Okay. Alright. Well, you know what, I'm going to try to do a little bit of a line over here. You guys hear someone talking that's my mother she's moving and she's staying here tonight because her place isn't quite ready she moved everything in today but it's not quite ready to live there yet she has a really loud voice she's on the phone all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my swirl going because this is getting thick and like I said, you know what, I really didn't want all these colors to spread like that, but it should still look really pretty. And let's go ahead and do it because I don't have a whole lot of time. All right. On the inside layer, we will be able to see that white, and there will be more definition than there will be on top. And, you know, like I said, this is going to be pretty no matter what. All right, and then I'm just going to run my spoon on the sides. Pulling this a little bit around. I think this will be my last pull. All right, there we go. Now, you can also, can also go in And you can just clean it up this a little bit. All right, so I think I will Let's see where should I start? I think I'll start from over here. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to go like this. There we go. And there we go. 
Oh, that looks so pretty. I love these colors together. I think that that's probably all I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if I should do a little more, maybe right here. But I kind of think, think I like it like it is. There we go. That'll be good. So that will be the end. I'm going to go ahead and tap it down a little bit since I did run my spoon handle through there. And there's the end result. We'll cut it tomorrow. It's gonna to be really pretty. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. All right, I'm back, sorry. All right, so I'm just rubbing, 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 and I'm doing it with fairly firm pressure. And on these little cracks that I've got, I've, I must say it's working pretty well. Things are coming together. The big one is the one that's a little bit harder. Especially right here in the white. That's where the crack is the thickest. And I don't want to meld all my colors together either. I mean, that would be, I could fix that, but. So here we go. They're all coming together fairly well. Just that big one's still showing a little bit. So for everyone's future reference, this fragrance oil heats up. Because <laughs> it wasn't my recipe, I can tell you guys that for sure. I didn't have any shea butter or cocoa butter in there last night, which I almost always do. And I know, you know, if you have a lot of hard oils or butters in there, that can do it. But, all right. So. I'm going to show you again now, see if you guys can see how basically, you can see a little bit right there, but it's together, and then my cracks over here, can't even see them anymore. This one, you can see a little bit, but it has come together. That's just on the side, honey. That's my son's pointing out there's some cracks right here, but that's just at the edge right there. That's not actual cracking. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit more on these two larger areas and then, and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna cut it. And hopefully all will be well. Yeah, this one I can still see a little bit. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's take another look at the top. All right. So there you go. There's a way that you can fix cracks on the top. If it's all the way down, it's a lot harder, but um, but it can you know it can be fixed or at least helped a little bit. And you might have a couple pieces that maybe you can't use, but for the most part, it'll be okay. I'm gonna clean this up, get it out of the mold, clean up my little area, and let it dry, and then I'll come back to cut it. All right, everybody. I just got super excited because I found this. I forgot that I had this. It's a, you know, like a big old cheese cutter or a soap cutter. 
and I forgot that I had it. So what I'm gonna do is it will go across this whole thing, just barely, but it will do it. And so what I did is I lined it up with the little indentation on my um, cheese cutter, which is my soap cutter, so that I'll have that little indentation there that I can, um, so I can cut it through all the way. Here's the top. It's looking good. All my cracks um, are pretty much taken care of. So it's looking good. And I'm just going to line this up, like I said, with the indentation. And I'm going to try to get this cut nice and evenly so I don't crack it. Do you need something? Okay. All right, so let's try this. Let's hope it works. And I already got my notches in place. Getting There we go. I was getting a little bit of resistance and yeah, it's not quite an even cut, but I can I can um, I can fix that up pretty easily. So I need to line it up a little bit better this next time. What? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Lovely. Well, that's going to be a ruined bar right there. Alright, so there we go. There's this side, that side. It looks really pretty. This side got demolished by me. It's still soft, I can kind of fix it, but. Anyways, so there's my three pieces. This side got smushed too. I forgot about that little piece on the side. Dang it. All right, <laughs> that really stinks. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut them into bars. These are gonna be three by two inch bars. Let's see. Let's have a good view. Alright. Yeah. There we go. What a bummer. What a bummer. Alright. Okay. There we go, nice beautiful bar. And of course I'm gonna clean these up like I said. This fragrance is so nice. It stayed really nice and strong.
Look at how pretty that looks. And you know, one of the beauties of um, handmade soap with all these swirls is that while you're using it, and as the soap kind of like wears away with time, you get to see all of these beautiful swirls um, kind of like changing as you use the soap. It's really pretty. So as you use this bar of soap, you'll get more and more down and you'll see more of the white, you'll see swirls in different colors. It's very pretty. That bar. And then here's the last one. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Here's the last two bars. There we go. And I will, you know, as I said, I'll clean these up clean all the sides up so they're nice and neat and they'll be gorgeous so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you for the next soap bye bye there's my finished bars they're all nice and cleaned up they all look beautiful and they smell equally as beautiful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment.